Hi, okay, wow. Well, I was just recording this for you guys and my um, phone got a notification and it shut off. And guess what time it was? 11-11. So cool. Spirit is here with me right now. Um, I can feel it. I've cleansed the cards. I've uh, cleansed my space, uh, your space, and uh, the energy um, as well in this room. So before I go ahead and I uh, read the cards, I am going to just talk to you about Lions Gate 88 or 88 Lions Gate, which is coming um, up tomorrow, August 8th, and it's going to be running through till about August 13th. Now what this means for us is that it's a huge time to be manifesting. Um, it's the Leo season and like I said from the 8th to the 13th is when you're really going to want to be making sure that you're setting your intentions to spirit. You're going to set those intentions to the universe and make sure that you are clear on those intentions. Now when I say be clear on those intentions, you know, be very detailed as much as you can. Um, but the one thing that I really want to stress is be careful what you wish for um, because at times we can manifest things into our life that we're not here to serve us. Um, just because we wish for it doesn't mean it's good for us, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, when I'm setting intentions, I always do say if it is for the higher good of everybody involved. And I feel that that really helps balance it out and we are... Um, at the end of the day, we can manifest whatever we want with the action behind it. However, it does leave that final decision to spirit or the universe um, because, you know, it's very important um, that it's something that's going to serve us. Um, and on the end of that, what you can say is if it is not um, uh, something that will serve uh for the higher purpose, please give me something equal uh, of the same or better. Okay, so that's a great way to be um, making sure that you're setting those intentions properly through this uh, Leo season with the 8-8 eight, eight Lions Gate. Um, now, this energy started around July and it started really pulling and activating um, most, for the most part, people's passions and uh, Kind of like nudging them to kind of get things going and in coming into August it's really been like pushing um, people to do what it is they're supposed to be here to do um, and a lot of for a lot of us it's a spiritual journey um, that uh, we are being pulled uh, towards and uh, this is the time that um, we are going to see movement, we're going to see more light, we're going to see more uh, confidence, we're going to see more energy. Um, and with the Earth, um, Sirius A um, and the Sun, I believe, yes, is they are all aligning with the uh, pyramids and the sphinxes in uh, Essa. It's that, with that alignment and that power, um, that we are able to uh, basically open the lion's gate and have um, our our wishes filled. Okay, things are going to be coming into uh, fulfillment for us here in the 3D world. Um, now, I'm going to jump right into this read. Uh, I have shuffled off camera already. I'm just going to pray over them. I'm going to set my uh, camera down here so you can actually see them. No need to see me. Okay. So. Okay. Jump right in. Thank you, Spirit, for being here. Clearing the energy of all negative energy. Leaving only the positive. Thank you, Archangels, Spirit Guides source in the universe please watch over us through this read protect us and like I say I love to hear the great things but let's keep it real let's keep it true and again let's help me deliver it with love thank you spirit okay 
So I'm going to do a spread here um, with these two decks of cards that I have. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from this deck two uh, angel messages, okay? Um, or overall energy from spirit. And then I'm going to put them back in the deck because I'm only working with two and I do need to use them as clarifiers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the overall energy um, message. This is a message from spirit, okay? <clears throat> spirit, please let us know what the overall energy is. Um, what's this message for overall energy, please, for this 88 Lionsgate 2019, please? Then I'm going to dive into uh, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine for the Twin Flame Journey. And please take this how it resonates. It will not and cannot resonate with everybody. And um, whether you um, refer to it as Divine, uh, sorry, uh, Twin Flame, Divine Counterpart, or Soulmate, again, um, you can use whatever terminology you feel comfortable with. So overall energy, please, um, Spirit, what message do you have up for us? 2019, overall energy, 488 Lionsgate, please. Let's, whoa, I only wanted one card, but we saw those fly out. Wow, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> so I can see why these are put together the way they are. And this card alone, the Five of Air, isn't always kind of seen as the best because it's like the stalemate card, right? It's like the, you know, you can't come to a decision. Um, you know, you're stuck basically in this. In that's what this card is. That's what that energy is. But with the Three of Earth coming in with it, I think the overall message here um, to remember is that. Um, this means building a strong foundation okay so three of earth is three of pentacles in the regular tarot and um, building that um, foundation is kind of just letting us know that there's going to be no more of this stalemate um, you know you're going to be breaking free of uh, feeling stuck and there is going to be a new foundation that is coming in for you okay you and your counterpart okay so I'll leave those out for a minute I'm just going to adjust the light here a bit because I find it's cards are really dark mm, maybe I will move this back over sorry guys this might used to be able to see everything okay okay so um, I'll leave those out for now, and then I'm going to get another message from Spirit. And Spirit, what is it you want us to know? What do you want the collective to know uh, during this 8-8 eight, eight Lions Gate for the Twin Flames uh, Divine Counterpart uh, Soulmate Journey, please? What's uh, What do you want us to know, Spirit? 8-8 eight, eight Lions Gate 2019, please. Overall for the collective. What would you like to tell us, Spirit? I'm going to take this one. It's sticking out. Wow. Two of Pentacles. I'm going to have to clarify that one. I usually let them fly right out. I'm going to clarify this Two of Earth, please. I think it's going to be kind of the same theme here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Ah, oh, you just can't make this stuff up. Okay, so we have the five of air. Okay, not so much of a good card. Um, and then we confirmed it with the three of pentacles or three of earth. There's going to be no more stagnation. There's not going to be any more confusion. You're going to be building a, a strong foundation. And then the two of pentacles comes up. And, you know, typically this means, you know, you're either juggling something in this 3D world. Um, and the card itself reads um, too much going on at once. 
the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. Okay, which the bottom really does re resonate, uh, the last sentence there. But it comes out with the Ace of Air. So this is the Ace of um, Swords in the regular deck, which to me is the truth. Um, in this card particular, uh, it reads, bright new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, okay? So things are coming to light, okay? And Spirit wants you to know that when they come to light, that they really are the truth, okay? And uh, I think there's been a lot of um, uncertainty going on uh, for the collective. Um, and whatever's coming in here about this Two of Pentacles, okay, it is the truth, okay? If you're getting a message, it is going to be the truth, and not to doubt that. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put these back into the deck, like so, and then I will reshuffle. Okay, and then we'll get to the basic spread for you all. I'm just smiling because I, you know, it's crazy that I, um, my phone shut off and then it said 11-11. I think that's very special. Okay. So right now I'm going to get the overall divine masculine, uh, and this would be his current energy. Uh, sorry, his current emotions. Now, when I say he, it does not mean that he or she is all energy. So you can be a, a divine, you can be, sorry, female and a divine masculine energy and vice versa. So just taking how it resonates, you know, this cannot and will not resonate with everybody. This is a general read for the, you know, for the collective. So, Okay, so Divine Masculine's uh, current emotions, please, towards the Divine Feminine. What is the current emotions, please, for the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? Ryan's gate. Whoa, shit, shoot, that just flew out. Oh, I hope you guys saw that in camera. Six of water, get out. Um, I did a general read uh, for the collective yesterday and this came out uh, for the Divine Masculine. This is a beautiful card. Um, this card is uh, Six of Cups. This means past life connections. Um, it means divinely guided. A lot of people read it as a twin flame card. And uh, my candles right now are just going crazy, which is really cool to see the one that, of course, the one that you can't see. So this card actually reads, memories from your history or childhood, um, issues regarding children, romanticizing about the past. But again, in the regular tarot deck, this is a very um, positive and yeah it's like it's like when this is related to emotions first of all uh, cups is an emotional card okay um, right off the bat and two where this where the question is about emotions I feel like um, I feel like the divine masculine is finally starting to realize what this connection is you know, that this is, you know, a divine counterpart or a twin flame. And this is a past life connection. You know, you guys have lived past lives. And that is why you guys have a lot of intuitive um, and maybe even psychic abilities um, with each other. Because a lot of times on this journey, we see that. We see that, uh, you know even when you're not in contact, because a lot of the Divine Masculine and a lot of the Divine Feminines are not in contact right now, uh, but you can still feel them. Okay, so, oh, and, sorry, I wanted to get, before I go and shovel, or shuffle, sorry, I wanted to clarify the bottom of the deck, and look, ha, wow, uh, 
Okay, so the bottom of the neck, I'm not going to pull these out, but I'm, I'm going to show them to you. But clarifying the six of cups, okay, is the magician. Okay, so now they're seeing what this it is for what it is, this connection, and they're realizing now that they're able to manifest, okay? And then um, this here is the seven of earth, and this is seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, but there is unnecessary worry because now he sees he has to put the work in to manifest this connection to come back together, but he is really realizing um, that this is a divine connection. So I'm going to put these two back. I'm not going to use them. Now let's go ahead and we're going to get an overall uh, energy for the Divine Feminine towards uh, the Divine Masculine. Emotional. Current emotions, please. For 8-8 Lionsgate 2019. Divine Feminine towards the Divine Masculine, please. What are the current emotions, please, Spirit? Okay. Current emotions, please, from the Divine Feminine for the Collective, please. Whoa, that card wanted to jump. Oh, and there's the one I want. Okay. So towards the the emotions right now, and this makes sense to me because um, there's been a lot going on with the Divine Feminine and the hard work that they've put into this uh, connection. And they're getting the Seven of Air, which is the Seven of Swords in the um, regular deck. Now... What it actually reads is, plans that need re revision, more going on that needs to eye and poor timing. And it, if, you can, <laughs> if you can see this card, but I'm just noticing for the first time, it's funny how you look at these cards and more and more things speak to you, but it, there's these two people on the on these unicorns and it's it's a merry-go-round I'm hoping you can see that okay the reflection isn't um, too bad there focus but yeah they're going around and around and around and I think for the very longest time the the divine feminine has felt like they've been on this merry-go-round with uh, this connection and um, huh. Well, the bottom of the deck is the wheel. Okay. There's new new cycles are coming in. Yeah. Four of cups. And then, wow, the sun. I can keep going. Like, this is crazy. I'm not going to keep these. Wow. Six of fire. The world. Oh, my dear Lord. Okay. So, I have to show you these. Okay. So, wow. Okay. What came out first? We had the... The wheel. <laughs> this is incredible. The sun, and then it came out the four of uh, water. No, nope, what's this way? Jeez. Wow. I, like, I can't even. Wow. You know what? She knows. Oh my gosh, this reading is so crazy um wow and you know what these are the cards that i've been getting for the divine feminine for the collective i mean i could just keep reading and reading these cards it is so crazy okay i'm gonna stop there but I know it's funny because you only get this with the with the defined masculine, right? But I have to read the cards how they come out because this is just amazing, and I can't make these up. Like I, you saw me pull them from the deck, so this is the seven of air, and I see, like we say, there's these two people going around and round and round on this merry-go-round, and 
the divine feminine has been putting so much work into this connection and that's you can kind of see like one's kind of humped over the other person and it's like she's been carrying the divine masculine to this point right um and it's a lot of work because we're not only working in the 3d here with communication um we're working in the dream realm we're working you know through spirit we're working through you know it, there's a lot going on in the 5d world that is also look at these people like they look exhausted right going around and around but you know what she realizes that there had to be a little bit of change come in and she had to again i say she it's just energy she had to realize um, and i think she has realized that um change had to come in uh she can't be carrying this divine masculine's um butt around anymore you know he needs to put in the work himself and she needs to let go of the outcome just like i was saying before when you are manifesting you need to let go of that outcome um, because if you don't let go of that outcome um, you're still tied to it and it's going to weigh you down and it's going to take even longer to come into fruition so she's done that she's now um, realized that um, you know, with this four of water energy see how there's like still this one cup here I'm just going to read this card intuitively. There's three back here. She's leaving this behind. She's going to focus on this one cup. You know who that one cup is? That one cup is her. That's the divine feminine right there concentrating on herself. She doesn't want to be on this merry-go-round anymore. She knows that there needs to be change. And I think the change has already happened. The reason being because I can see the rest of these cards that just came out. So, because she knows at the end of the day, this is the best card in the deck. She knows whatever she's manifesting, okay, is going to come to fruition. She knows that. So, she's putting the burden down of all these other cups of, you know, everything that she's been carrying of the, the Divine Masculine. Um, and she's leaving it up to the angels, her spirit guides. She knows it's going to come in for, to uh, fruition. And she knows that it's going to be uh, victorious. And she has the strength to do it now. And this is Leo season. <coughs> in this deck, of course, it's not a, it's not a tiger. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a, it's a, sorry, it's not a lion. It's a tiger in this deck. But typically... Um, Leo is um, in this in this uh, card. The lion is with the strength, and then again we have uh, sorry the the world. Okay, so changes are coming in. She knows that the um, <laughs> the nine of water. Here here she is. Here she is because she did all this here because she did all this because she finally said you know what enough is enough i'm gonna fix myself before i fix and worry about myself and concentrate on this one cup which is me and my immediate family i'm gonna concentrate on me and what i need to do and stop carrying his ass around and you know because i know what's going to be coming in she's coming to her own power look how bright her face is there yeah, this, and there's the sun. The sun is shining. The sun's shining down on her. Because she did her part. Her part was to let go. Her part was to concentrate on her. Her part was to bring into fruition, especially in this season, if you are at all um, trying to bring in spiritual enlightenment or spiritual um, awakenings, right now is the time to do it and she is standing in her own and the divine masculine like i think he's watching he knows she's coming to her own she doesn't need him because again let's see here she knows that there's going to be a celebration the strengths right we just went over those 
and she knows that there's going to be a significant change. She knows that um, there's going to be a life event coming up. Powerful uh, revelations that lead to change and it is time to spread your wings. It is time for her to come into her awakening. And that's what she's focusing on. Then you have the Knight of Water that came out. Falling in love. And the Page of Fire, which is, you know, exciting news coming in. The Eight of Cups. <coughs> you know, she's, she's searching for something more right now. Because she knows, again, she knows that this is going to come into fruition no matter what. But she needs to put the energy into her. And that's what this card is about. She's laid down the burdens, like I said, of carrying him around and around in that marriage around. And, wow, look at this. She's come into her own. This is the Empress. Abundance. Foundation to your dreams. Planting the seeds to beautiful and amazing things uh, that you want in life. And if I go even a little further, there's the Fool. It's a new beginning. And again, the Magician. She is a very... Whomever I am picking up on in this collective, this divine feminine, which I, I have to say for the reads that I've been doing for the collective, for the very most part, the divine feminines are very, very, very powerful beings in the the 5D realm and higher. The, these um, divine feminines are really starting to step into their own power, their own enlightenment. Um, you know, some of them are probably, you know, they could be tarot readers, they could be um, light workers, they could be healers, they could be uh, star seeds. Like these divine uh, feminine for this particular collective is like crazy ass spiritually gifted, hands down hands down. I'm just going to stick these back in because I'm not going to take them because it was just my clarifiers. I don't even think I'm going to have to use the other deck to clarify anything because the bottom of the deck has been doing this for me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle these again on camera. Wow, I don't usually take that many clarifiers at the bottom, but I, I had to. I had to tell you that story. That was amazing and that's not even the end of this reading yet you guys I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle this oh wow there is my am just like I got chills I have chills all over right now thank you spirit Woo. I am just so happy to be here with you all right now I'm so happy to be delivering this amazing message and this amazing energy uh, like it's late right now and I'm like wide awake and I have not been feeling very great and this is just awesome okay so let's go ahead and let's um, see what the current intentions are right now from the ma divine masculine towards the divine feminine please divine masculine intentions please towards the Divine Feminine for this 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate, please. This energy that's running through the 8th to the 13th. What is his true intentions? Whew! We had a couple of them come out. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Okay. So we have the Ten of Air and the Hermit. So it's the end of a, dis a difficult situation and he has been going within. Whatever he's been going through, he's, he's moving away from. See all these unicorns and like stampeding off. You know, they're not, they, they want out of there. They're done. Um, and now they're going to be embracing the new ch the new change. It's really dark back here. 
and it's very light up here. They're going to start embracing the lightness. They're going to start embracing the fact that they know now what this connection is. Because why? Because they've gone within. They've gone within to seek answers. And you know what? Yeah, like spiritual. Like this is, they have an angel on their shoulder. They have spirit talking in their ear, maybe visiting in them, you know, in their dreams. Because um, even if they're not someone that's to sit in uh, quiet and um, in hermit mode and actually meditate, maybe they're out in nature. Maybe they're doing things that make them happy more, opposed to uh, you know feeling in that stuck energy. And um, they've really gone within. Because, again, they've been awakened to what this connection is, right? <laughs> and here we go. To clarify that, the four cups for them, and then the wheel. So, yeah, whatever they've been through. For at one point, they were only seeing their spilt cups over here. They're starting to realize that this one cup that's standing is standing bright and it's full this cup is full this divine feminine's cup is full and they're going to stop crying over this spilt these spilt cups okay because they're seeing change they've come in um to you know work on themselves within and you know a new cycle's coming a new cycle is coming for them and they want to take this cup now from the uh, Divine Feminine right that's their intentions their intentions is to get out of their head get uh, all this stuff straightened away and see the change so that they can be part of this journey and see the victory okay they want to be a part of that I'll leave those three out. Okay. Let's see now what the intentions are from the Divine Feminine towards the Divine Masculine, please, Spirit. The intentions, the current intentions, please. Eight, eight, landscape 2019, please. So we're all intentions, please current and true intentions towards the divine masculine please I know you divine feminines have something to say so oh we got one that flipped where did it go here there it is I think there was just the one Okay, so we have the two of air. Hmm. Okay, when I'm reading this now, because of the other cards that came out, again, this is stalemate, right? This came out in the messages from Spirit, um, clarified earlier. Now, being unable and willing to make a decision a stalemate pretending there is no problem I think this goes back to uh, 